Okay, yeah, this is part two. For some reason, while I was recording this, YouTube has cut my video short. I don't know why. But yeah, so I've had to record a part two now. Anyway, putting my OS in so you can see the similarities between the other one. Um, yeah, so like I said, this all uses its own bootloader. I was going to put in this thing that, like, made you press a key to continue so, I could, so you could see that um, it booted and then it passed control onto the kernel but um, yeah it happened too fast for that but yeah it does have its own bootloader as well as a kernel so it's part of what you see in kernel um, yeah so as in this one the colour scheme is different they had a bright blue on white I think it was which was really annoying I changed it to um, black on green which um, I really like that colour scheme um, we've still got the same prompt down here, the same arrow, I saw no reason to change that and we've got still got, well this is a different welcome message, it says welcome to AOS, Alex operating system. I don't have a name for it yet, it's just AOS so far. Anyway let's get zoom in on that. Okay then, so like the other one, mine doesn't have a really extensive command list. In fact, it has two commands shorter than the previous one. You just type help. Okay, because they had three commands that were all the same. Uh, they had reboot, exit, and quit, which all did the same thing. I got rid of the exit and quit, and I kept just the reboot. And now I've got CLS and help, so pretty useless at the moment. But it now reads, thank you for using AOS Alex operating system, list of the current commands, and there yeah, the commands. Um, I did have a way to change, because at the moment you might be noticing that green arrow, but white, grey, help text. I did have a way to change that text, but I forgot how to do it, and I lost my original file. But I'm, s I'm still working on that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this works extremely similar, so a lot of people might just say, well, all you did was change text and change colour. But um, this assembly is pretty complicated, but I'm still working on it, and um, I should have some new commands soon, so then I'll make a new video about that. But, um, oh yeah, wait a minute, let me just show you the reboot thing. Okay, yeah, so as you can see, I didn't change the colour scheme on this one. It's the same as the other one, but it's relatively easy to change, and um, I can put this bit um, anywhere on the screen, as a, but with the others, it was slightly more complicated for some reason. It's just different. But yeah, like I said, there'll be some new commands, so making some of that soon, maybe a better interface than just this command line thing that we're seeing at the moment. Not too good. And um, perhaps I'll even have it on CD, because floppy drive is really basic, isn't it? But anyway, yeah, um, that's the OS up to now, and um, yeah, I'll see you later.